Hello, my name is Evan Lubeck and today I'm going to answer my essential question of how will the aviation industry change in the future as I prepare to become an airline pilot. I've divided my question into five sub-questions. What is the future of pilots, drones, aircraft, airports, and the FAA? So let's begin. Starting off with the future of pilots, let's talk about the big problem facing the aviation industry, and that's the pilot shortage. According to the General Aviation Manufacturers Association, they report that there are 18,000 active FAA air transport pilots ages 60 to 64. These pilots will age out over the next five years. Another 25,000 ATP pilots ranging in age from 55 to 59 will follow suit by 2026. This statistic is huge. Just within the next eight years, over 42,000 pilots will retire, creating that many more positions for new upcoming pilots. It doesn't stop there. According to airline analysis Mike McGee, the majors will have a demand of 3,000 to 4,000 pilots per year until the year 2020, when it will then rise to 4,000 to 5,000 pilots per year. Additionally, he states that the regionals will need more than 5,000 pilots per year by 2018, 6,000 by 2020, and 7,000 by 2021. This graph depicts the hiring forecast at major airlines. It is predicted that the major airlines will hire roughly 95,000 pilots. Boeing has done an outlook within each region across the globe with the Asia-Pacific region leading the worldwide growth in the demand for pilots, with a requirement of 248,000 new pilots. North America follows right behind with an estimated 112,000 new pilots by 2035. When analyzing the demand for pilots, according to this graph, that means over 600,000 new commercial airline pilots will be needed worldwide. These are staggering results. The demand is real. New pilots will be needed to counteract the retiring of pilots and fill new positions at both regional and major airlines. The regional airlines will be impacted the most due to the amount of pilots moving on to the major airlines. Airlines are raising salaries and even giving signing bonuses to attract pilots. Because of the pilot shortage, I believe I will be entering the aviation industry at a perfect time to secure a position as a full-time airline pilot. The next topic I want to discuss is the future of unmanned air vehicles, commonly referred to as drones. Drones are becoming the leading way for military flight operations as well as in engineering and agriculture, but sooner than later drones will be the way for cargo operations. Soon, drones will deliver packages to your house, and that is a huge economical impact once cargo carriers go pilotless. I can now understand how the jobs in the cargo carriers would be in jeopardy because of the technological advances with drones. However, they are still not completely up to standards with FAA rules and regulations. Drones are flying at low altitudes, or in the aviation world, called uncontrolled airspace, where anyone can fly. Balloonists, gliders, parachutists, and where we now depend on pilot response. With this major disadvantage, there would need to be development of a collision avoidance system and airspace for drones. Overall, I still see drones impacting the way of commercial aviation and how it might skew the pilot shortage due to drones taking over the cargo carriers, but there are still many obstacles that need to be overcome before drones will become mainstream. Now let's talk about the advancements of airplanes. As we enter into a new era of technology, aircraft manufacturers are developing more fuel-efficient, longer-ranging, and better passenger-accommodating airplanes. Some of the ways they are doing this is by making planes lighter, by using carbon composite material to make the fuselage, wings, and engine. Engine manufacturers are creating engines that can operate with a lower fuel flow. This helps them use less energy and burn less fuel, all while helping to protect our environment. With these advances, it makes long-haul flight routes possible. For instance, it is now possible for an aircraft to set off from London, England and reach Perth, Australia without stopping. Airlines are buying these next generation aircraft in hopes of growing their fleet and expanding on their flight routes. With such a high demand, manufacturers are trying to speed up the building process. For example, Boeing is producing roughly 42 737s per month and climbing. With my understanding and new knowledge about the high demand of the production of airplanes, I can already assume that it was having a counteract for the demand of pilots to fly them. Since we need pilots to fly these new and advanced aircraft, there needs to be a better place to accommodate passengers, the airport. To begin with the improvements to airports, the biggest topic covered was for airports to have a continuous pace throughout the airport. There should be no time where passengers are in queue. Moreover, facilities should be more environmentally friendly and use up-to-date technology including automated ramp operations. Another big topic is improving on the journey to and from the airport. There needs to be a more direct and streamlined way to get from the city or suburbs to an airport. Additionally, the enlargement of taxiways and aprons will help to accommodate more aircraft. 
Adding more runways will allow for more on-time arrivals and departures without a busy airspace. The International Air Transport Association has predicted that the passenger traffic in the next 20 years total is set to double from 3.8 billion to 7.2 billion. I have learned that with this large increase in passenger traffic, airports need to begin to modernize to accommodate the needs of travelers to provide a seamless, stress-free, and an all-around better environment. The final aspect of the future of aviation resides in the Federal Aviation Administration. Administration. The main theme the FAA is focused on is to continue to push for safety and reduce the number of both civil and commercial aircraft accidents. Aviation is already extremely safe according to an FAA statistic that since the mid-1990s the number of commercial air carrier fatal accidents has decreased nearly 80%. It is the FAA's goal to continue to advance in safety for all travelers. Another main improvement is creating a more environmentally friendly industry. The FAA solution is implementing a program called NextGen, which combines changes to the way aircraft are routed with new, more fuel-efficient technology and improved fuel to reduce the aviation's environmental footprint. One big topic discussed by the FAA was making air traffic control a lot more advanced with better technology and equipment to safely monitor and control the skies while making for more on-time arrivals and departures, which, in return, creates a less stressful environment for the crew and passengers. The FAA is looking to make many improvements in the future to better align themselves with the advancements to aircraft and modern day technology. With my essential question very broad and challenging, I've learned a lot about how the aviation industry will change as I prepare to become an airline pilot. I have made many valuable discoveries and presented all the necessary information to accurately answer each part of my essential question. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Thanks for watching.